Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. And I have some crafty goodness for you. Um, I have been left some comments for some interest in my stitching and crafty business, like hand crafting, not DIYs. So I thought I would do a floss tube type video with a little knitting, a little stitching, and a little bit of haul. So if that interests you, please stick around. I know it's a little different than my normal content, but really it is about my crazy life because these are all the things I do. Now, I did have up a video about my, um, my trip to Canada. So one of these items you will, you will have seen, and I'm trying to find the pattern while I'm talking to you, if it's in here. But it is, is it in here? No. Okay, I don't have the pattern, but it is a finish that I have. So I will show you that, and then I will show you what I'm working on, and then I'll show you some stuff that I purchased. How about that? So the finish I have, which is not completely finished, but I stitched this, and it's the Quirky Bee or the quirky something or other. I'll put it in the drop down box below. And I added my name. I'm going to use this as like a name badge or a hanging badge. And then if you see on here, I have this, you can't see it, but that's a charm. It's 2022. I'm going to attach a charm for every year that I go to a stitching retreat. So this is done. Um, for the most part, I just need to attach my charm. I need to cut it out and figure out how I'm going to hang it but that is done so that is a finish now what am I working on I have a few things I'm stitching currently the first thing I am stitching is a temperature library 2 and the designer is uh, Christy DeClement and I believe I got this, yes, I got it on Etsy. And it is a PDF. And this is for 2022. And every shelf of the library is a different month. So here's what I've got so far. I am woefully behind in, in April, but I'll catch that up here today or tomorrow. So I have January, February, March. Now what I did, because I didn't want each shelf to be like all the same colors. I kind of did my own thing and I just mixed up, I just randomly grabbed colors and this color would represent uh, three degrees and this color represents, and I have a chart over here. If I can find it. I created for myself because I truly wanted it to be um, random. I just wanted it to look like a bookshelf. Yes, it's a temperature chart, but for me, I really enjoy the book aspect. So this is all of the floss on these drops I made, practicing with my wood burner. And every number corresponds over here with a temperature. So floss number one is for the bookshelf. Floss number two on this chart is from zero to three degrees and then i put the dmc number so i just created this and i'll have this for a year so i wanted to make sure everything is good and i did mine on just some fiddler's cloth i love this open weave it reminds me very much of like a rattan and it's very boho feeling and so are the colors that i'm going with so this is my rendition i suppose of a temperature library and I take the high temperature of every day, and I need to pick, do April. So I'm stitching on that. And, oh, here it is. I'm also stitching right now. This is the Prairie Schooler Santa's, and this is from 2018. Hi, Dubby. And we have a Wellington tail. So the Prairie Schooler, they, I think goes back to 1984. Every year there's a new Santa. And these are the flosses, and most of them are very consistent. They may add colors, but like the Santa I'm doing in the same reds and greens and all of that. So here's my floss for all the, and it's all DMC. 
And this is where I'm at. So there's Santa's boots and the snowman that I'm working on with the jackrabbit in there. So I'm not very far. I started this at the stitching retreat. And this is a 32 count even weave that I think I got at like Joanne or something. It's the dye that it is. I might have got it at Hobby Lobby. And this is an eight by eight Q snap. And I love this for my little stitches. So I'm working on this. Um, and what I did here is I just wrote on the back of the floss drop, I just wrote the DMC number because this again is just, not just, but this is D done in DMC floss. And the very specific reason is, oh, hi. Hi, oh, what was that, Doug? What's happening over here? It's, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm gonna fix it. Okay, I'm back. So we were talking about the floss and this being DMC. And the reason I use DMC for projects like this is basically consistency. I want the same red, the same green, the same flesh color. I want this all to be the same throughout. I have plenty of Santas to do. So I want consistency. Another reason I like to use DMC is it's cost effective, you know? And that's important to us all. But I do also like some hand dyed, not to be mistaken. All right, so that is all my current stitching situation that I have. Now I'd have some knitting. Um, as a child, I had this stocking. And my mom lost it in a move years ago. And I was like, girl, you knit, make the stocking. So I found this pattern on Etsy, and if I can find it again, I will link it down below. It's a vintage, I think it's from 1950s, stocking. I am not doing the tree on the back. I'm just doing the front. And this is where I'm at. So I've done the, the, the knit cuff the red, the green, and I'm starting on Santa. And yes, you're not mistaken. I've got like four different colors of yarn. This is color work. So on the back, you'll see that I carry the green across the red, the white, whatever color I'm working. I've actually been able to, I think I cut the green. Yes, because I'm done with the green. Oh no, the green is over here. So these are the colors. And I will tell you, I wanted a little more vintage feel. So I got from Hobby Lobby, this is ivory and it's just acrylic yarn. I wanted to be able to wash it. This is kale and this is chili red. I wanted a more vintage feel. And then this is Lion Brand Basic and this color is blush heather. So it's just a soft pink. You can make Santa whatever color you want. And then I needed a touch of black, so I just grabbed this from the Dollar Tree. And this is called Angel Hair. And if you see it, it's a texture, and it's in a cream color, but this is for beard, eyebrows, for Santa to give it a little bit of texture. So all of these at this point, except for the black, are still attached. And as I go back and forth from row to row, I pick up whatever color I need. And then I carry, I carry the other ones behind and you just make sure that you give yourself, you know, plenty of room. I'm not going to use this as a functional scarf or scarf, a functional stocking. It's for looks, but I want it to be good. And I marked the halfway point with just this pin because I'm not doing the tree on the back. So I just go back and forth. So that's where we're at. Hopefully this will be done by Christmas, but if not, you know what? Christmas comes again next year. So I, I have that to work on. So that's my knitting and other knitting. Oh, so this is gonna be a little gifty gift that I'm working on. I can show you a couple that are almost done. Let me just dump them out here. I got them in a little bag. So I'm knitting miniature socks. And I'm going to stuff them with catnip and send them off to some nitty friends or some crafty friends for their cat. So this is just a regular sock pattern that I cut the stitches in half. So there's 32 stitches. I'm using a size zero double point and I'll show you. 
This was done on a size two. So that's the difference you get depending, you know, on your size needle. And then I did make one mitten because these are hysterically cute. Um, I am using this little opal bonbons. I years ago bought a couple advent calendars two years in a row of these little opal yarn. It's wool and the cats love it. Oh, and then I have this one as well. Then I went smaller and I made like a little running sock or a little no-show sock. I mean, come on guys, tell me these are not adorable. These, I'm not even putting stuffing in. I'm just filling them 100% with catnip. I even like turned the heel and the gusset. 32 stitches. And this is the one I have in the works right now. I am working on the heel flap. And these are some tiny size zero double points. Then I'm stitching these on. And then for my boys, I made, well, or Alex, this little tiny It'll be stuffed. He likes to bat things around, so I'm hoping this is small enough for him, and I will stuff that. So that is really everything I'm working on currently, besides, you know, like my job and my YouTube channel and apparently all these trips. I have my pattern. I follow, and this is an old pattern, but um, there's tons of just vanilla sock patterns, but this is Ann Norling, just her standard sock pattern. It's a recipe. There's a hundred sock patterns out there. And this is in, I got this at Knit Picks and it says coffee, your day, uh, coffee, yarn. Oh, start your day with coffee, end your day with yarn. Little do they know I start and end my day with coffee. So I work on that when I have a few minutes because I'm getting ready to ship that out. So that is everything that I'm currently working on. My whips, if you will. Now, stash, what I buy? Apparently, I think I'm a Rockefeller and I'm just out there shopping like a maniac. Um, I did buy this Biscornu at my retreat, if you saw the haul, but I wanted to see here. Okay, 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 good. I was like, why did I buy Ada for these? For these two little tiny stitches, I got Ada and I'll show you. So these are patterns that I have purchased um, recently or in the past and some freebie patterns. And they're all, um, I need to keep the ones, these are all the ones that I would like to get moving on. And so here's what's a fun fact. There, and I don't know if I talked about this in the other video, but I am definitely a process, I am definitely a product stitcher and knitter. I want the product. I want to have my stocking done. I want to have this name done. So to me, I don't want to have a million things going because then I'll never finish anything. Some people are all about the process and can have a hundred things going and it does not bother them. And that is fantastic as well. I'm all about the product just for you, just as a little FYI. Now, this is a freebie pattern from Modern Folk Embroidery. And obviously it's in um, solidarity with the Ukraine, the, the colors of the flag, and these words mean peace. And this is from Jacob at Modern Folk Embroidery, and it is a freebie on his website, so you can just go print it. And it's a pretty quick stitch. Two colors of floss, and a piece of scrap fabric. Super cute, and I, I really want to get that going as well. So I have that. Now, I, I purchased catnip. If you're going to make catnip toys, I recommend that you get the, um, not the powder catnip. This is thicker. It's ground. So it's like dried up catnip plant. It's thicker, and it won't fall quite so much out of the knitting. If you get the finer stuff, just I would stitch it into a little bag and stick the little bag in there, but my boys like this. So I ordered this on Amazon. Um, there should be a link in my bio below to my Amazon store, and I will try to remember to go put this in my crafting essentials, I guess. So I got that today in the mail. And then <laughs> the Ada, which I couldn't remember why, I ordered 18 count, just plain white Ada. Amazon, I'll try to add this. This is DMC. Silver standard, it's just standard 18 count though, not 14. 
and this was like three dollars and it's a pretty decent size it's a 15 by 18 which i think is a fat quarter so i grabbed that to do the biscornu and to do the black cat so i got that in the mail today and then also on Amazon, I ordered these charms. These are 2023 charms. I should go back and order the 2022 as well. But these are going to be, I'm taking these next year to my stitching retreat and sharing them with my table mates because I'm never going to need a hundred of these. But a lot of stitchers I know put these on the back of their finished projects so they know what year they finished them. I'm putting it on my name badge as well. So I'll give each of my table mates like five or ten of these on a pin for them so they can put them on their finished products and I should go back I only have one 2022 and hopefully I finish more than one thing this year but I want to start doing that like stitching the year onto my projects so I did I got that um also from Amazon I ordered 18 count in black this is going to be for the skeleton that I'm doing. This piece is 19 by 28. No, this is a 16 count black Ada. Um, and I like I like the Ada when I'm doing this dark of a color because I can see the holes a little better. Um, there's not so many that I have to get through. So this is just black Ada. And then I went to my local Joanne and I got, this is B5200. It is white, white, white. I grabbed five of them because I can't remember, I couldn't remember how many I needed to do the skeleton. Um, so I grabbed five. I use white all the time, so it's not a big deal, but I didn't have any. And again, you always want to make sure you have enough for whatever project. And then I got this. It's a goldish silver. I love adding like sparkle two things and Krynik is so expensive so this is the dmc version diamant it's called i don't doesn't tell me what this color but there's 38.2 yards on here it's viscose and polyester the number is d168 um this was on clearance for two dollars and fifty cents so i grabbed it because i love adding it let me show you i don't know if you'll see it but in the crown here i took a little black and silver if you can see there's a little sparkle i i stitch over with one one strand of the floss just to give it a little zhuzh you know so i have that and i wanted i was on clearance so i grabbed that and that was from joanne i i will shop literally anywhere guys just so you know i mean i think we've all figured that out right then today i went to keepsakes which is a it's a stitching store here in ohio if you watch pam and steph i think steph works here i will put a link to her website they also ship and they had everything you could possibly imagine in that store. I have a little footage at the end of the upstairs. There was a lot of stitchers downstairs and I didn't feel comfortable filming them. They said I could film, but I didn't want to film the people. So I just filmed upstairs, but you'll get a good indicator of how much patterns they have. So I went there for fabric because I feel like I came back from my retreat with not really any fabric for all my stitches so i grabbed this piece this oh, cat fur guys is a 20 this is 22 count but i'm going to dye this and so it usually turns out to be a 25 count and this is a fat quarter and i think this was 35 dollars i believe is what she said i'd have to look at my receipt and what they do is they will cut the fabric for you while you're there, and then they will go ahead and serge it on the edges. Now, that's the manufacturer edging, but they surged it. And, yeah, this was $35. This is Hardanger, 22 count, and I like it because I can see it. But I would do one, one over one or two over one on this, depending. So I grabbed that. And then I got this, an antique white, and it's a Lugana piece. And this is 16 by 16. I don't know how much this was. Let's see if I can figure it out, shall we? 
Um, twenty dollars. I guess. Yeah, this was probably twenty dollars for this piece. And it's, like I said, this is antique color Lugana. So it's like a creamy color. I really like just neutrals, as I tell you that. And then this was, I think, 20, oh no, this one was 20. So this must have been 30. Or this one was 20 as well. I don't know. I forget it. I don't know. Um, well, this one I know was 20 because it says so. But I got this piece. Um, I can do a lot of little ones on here, and this is Stormy Nights, which I actually have this for a different project I'm doing, the Nevermore, my Halloween one, and I just think that this fabric lends itself to some Halloween knitting. It's just like a night, so it's gray. Now, this is, uh, I think this is machine dyed, so it's only on one side, which is fine, and then she gave me just this little scrap because nobody was going to purchase this little piece. So she just tossed it in, but I can get two, two little knits or stitches on here. So she gave me that. And then I bought some floss. I've been wanting to try. This is, uh, what's it called? Sulky cotton thread. You can sew with it, but you can also hand stitch. And one strand of this is equal to two, two strands of DMC. So this is a little thicker, but I wouldn't have to hold it double because I would hold one strand double. I'll hold this single, but this I got specifically because the, to do this, I think that all the colors will be in here. And this is called the Broadway Collection. And it was $15. And I got two, four, six, eight, ten spools of floss. And each spool has 50 yards. So really, this is a fantastic deal. I love DMC, don't get me wrong, but I wanted to try this. And then this is the Central Collection, which just has some more neutrally to me neutrally colors. I have my red and green, like Christmas red and green, blue, gold, black and white, a beige, an orange, a brown, and a navy blue. So I grabbed these and they were $15. They also had smaller packages, so maybe the next time I go, I will get some small ones, but I'm really excited to try this floss. I like the idea that it's just on a spool. I can cut a piece off and be done. I don't have to do the whole skein. Um, also it's just one piece. So we'll see, we'll see how I like it. I'm sure I will love it. Um, because I know I'm pretty sure between the two, I can do this entire and this entire, I can do both of these with the colors that I purchased. So that was exciting. Plus a myriad of other projects. And then speaking of projects, I see if I can get this price tag off. This was a dollar twenty-five, and it's also a prairie schooler, and it's just a tiny little Easter bunny. Like you can't see, I'm having to get that price tag off, but it's just a little Easter bunny, just a cute little stitch. It, it won't take long at all, and I can do this on the leftover black. I have. And then I got this. This is Plum Street Samplers by Paulette Stewart. And it is ugly sweater weather. And they're little dachshund puppies wearing ugly sweaters. Oh, can you see it? I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but here, let me see if I take it out of the plastic. I just thought it was adorable. And I don't know what year this is from. I don't have a Dachshund, but you know, who doesn't love a dog? And it just, I think this is going to be an adorable little pillow. This was created, what year? I don't think it says, I don't think it's new this year, but they did, oh, 2020. So this was probably two years, yeah, two years ago. Um... Oh, there's a little bone and then the little dogs. I think it's adorable. So I grabbed that just to do for Christmas stitching. 
And that is everything that I purchased, which is a lot, guys. I got a lot of crafting to do. So that'll go into my bag, which I also got these on Amazon. And if I can find them, I'll put them in my crafty storefront as well. Um, these are great for holding your projects, but also holding your patterns. So I know that all of these I want to stitch up sooner rather than later. But of course, that's how we all are. And I think I have, between what I purchased and what I have, I think I have enough fabric to get most of those started. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my my floss tube. I'm calling it floss tube because there's knitting. It's all kinds of crafty stuff. But this will identify it as a strictly handcrafted video. So I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with you later.